As well as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Monday night paused a judicial overall which triggered a general strike, political division and mass protests in the country's most severe domestic crisis in years after nearly three months of increasing tension with them. That's right. So in Israel, it's really become the people of the country versus uh, uh, Mr. Netanyahu because he also said in a broadcast that out of a sense of national responsibility, out of a will to prevent a rupture among our people, I have decided to pause the second and third readings of the bill. His comments came just a day after he sacked his defence minister who had called for a halt to the legislative process citing national security concerns. That's right. And earlier yesterday, prior to the Prime Minister's address, tens of thousands of protesters had actually rallied uh, near the Parliament and they all started uh, to sort of get down to Jerusalem and they had declared a complete strike. Absolutely. So uh, flights had been disrupted, hospitals were not performing uh, any kind of surgery. They stopped all uh, non-emergency services and even diplomats have walked off the job. And it's not just there. In fact, embassies across, the Israeli embassies across the world had stopped working. That's right. But after uh, the Prime Minister's announcement, uh, the various trade unions and uh, confederations called off the strike. <laughs> למנוע מלחמת אחים בהידברות, אני כראש ממשלה לוקח פסק זמן להידברות. אני נותן הזדמנות אמיתית להידברות אמיתית. אנחנו עומדים על הצורך להביא את התיקונים הנחוצים במערכת המשפט וניתן הזדמנות כדי להשיג אותם בהסכמה רחבה זו מטרה ראויה מעין כמוה. So after weeks of protests, this is what the breaking news is that Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressed the nation and he has announced that he is going to pause the judicial overhaul. After weeks of protests and thousands of people protesting across the country at different locations and a general strike announced by the labor union here in Israel, today the Prime Minister had to come out and admit that the judicial overhaul will be paused for a while. Now it has to be seen that whether there will be a temporary suspension and whether all these people who are protesting at different locations will lift their protest or not because many say that they don't want the government to bring this uh, legislation even later in time and there should be a permanent suspension of the judicial overhaul. This judicial overhaul or the proposal to pass this in the state, uh, in, in the country's parliament in Knesset had received huge condemnation and criticism from across the country. Civil society was up in arms asking the Prime Minister to, over, to sort of stop or to pause the law and, and, and thinking about the growing concern over security, law and order situation and at many locations in Israel, uh, the pro-judicial uh, overhaul people and the anti-judicial overhaul protesters had also crashed at political locations and many politicians had raised concerns that this judicial overhaul will bring Israelis against Israelis in the country and there will be a deep division in the society. And perhaps considering the fact the Israel Prime Minister has come out today, uh, a day after sort of sacking his own cabinet minister, the Minister of Defense who had voiced that the government should consider or reconsider its decision to pass the judicial overhaul law. Now the Prime Minister has said that this law uh, 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 has been paused, it will not be brought into the parliament. In Israel, Mohammed Ghazali for NDTV.